Okay, let's talk about duplex collecting system. We have the bifurcation of ureteric bird before it enters the metanephric blastema. So look, we have now two ureteric birds. Ureteric bird, ureteric bird. Because we have bifurcated the ureteric bird before it enters the blastema, creates a Y-shaped bifid uterus. You might be not uterus, but ureter, right? Because ureteric bird was forming the ureters. So we have Y-shaped bifid. I mean, I hope I can uh, just Google the shape and you will see a nice two ureters coming side by side from the kidney. That's the bifurcation of the ureteric bird. Uh, then you have this uh, ureteric bird and then you have this uh, duplex collecting system can alternatively occur through two ureteric bird reaching and interacting with metanephric blastema, strongly associated with the vesico ureteral reflux and or ureteral obstruction. So if you have a reflux of that uh, vesico uh, ureteral reflux, that's one thing, or you have this obstruction of that ureter, um, or you have increased uh, risk of UTIs, uh, and then you have this frequently presents with hydronephrosis. Because uh, why would you have hydronephrosis? Because you have two systems that are coming down, but again, they are associated with either obstruction or either the reflex back into the kidney or the, into the ureter going back to the kidney, or there is a UTI recurrent UTIs are occurring. So the kidney, later on, you will have uh, hydronephrosis. First of all, you might develop a hydroureter because of all that pressure going up, hydroureter, and then you know, eventually forming hydro, uh, hydronephrosis. So that's all what we have for the duplex collecting system.